Hey y'all, Heather with the Mosco again today. And we're back out in this front flower bed. So I've shown you how we've taken out the monkey grass and I've moved these rose bushes out of the way. And in the spring, I really want to put in some uh, David Austin roses in the middle and then really fill up this bed and make it a really beautiful centerpiece in the front of our home and really highlight some of those uh, modern log cabin-esque things. But that's in the spring and for the time being, I was gonna have a very empty bed. So, the thought crossed my mind, I would love to have a vegetable garden and that's gonna be something we work on later. But we could take this opportunity to have this empty space to make um, just kind of a fall vegetable garden. So grow things like carrots and collard greens. I also have some zinnia seeds that I'm hoping that if I put them in, um, they'll bloom before they freeze. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna, so what I'm gonna do today is come in and there are a couple things there's landscape fabric in here and i'm not a very big fan of the fact that there's landscape fabric in here just because you're constantly having to move it and cut it and deal with it and the weeds grow on top of it anyhow so i think i'm going to take the large chunk in the center where we've moved all the roses out of the way remove the um, mulch to the side cut out the landscape fabric and I want to amend the soil with quite a bit of compost to make it more suitable to growing some vegetables and um, do a little biotone when I plant too so we'll do that later but today what we're working on is now we have this nice big open area in between these two so if we scoot the mulch away and we'll cut out using um, a box cutter the landscape fabric piece and I'm gonna roll that up and save it in case we do decide we want it later and then we need to work the soil a bit. So I've got a rake and a shovel, um, and we're just gonna try to chunk up the soil a bit and work in some good compost. That way it'll be ready when we do get our drip system put in on top of all this, and then we can cover that with the mulch for planting some seeds. in for his nap you can see that he was a super great helper he's so cute when he likes to dig and in the dirt with mommy I think that's super cute but it got a little snack and it got a little overcast which is great because it is super hot out here um, it's kind of difficult to get done in this level of heat but I'll be super excited when it is so I'm gonna try to push through so back to it with the shovel. Um, obviously, if we had a tiller and we could fluff it up with a tiller and make it really fluffy and light, that would be ideal. Unfortunately, I don't have a tiller available to me. I could probably rent one or buy one that's relatively cheap, but just seemed a little bit unnecessary for a job like this, especially seeing as I'm putting in seeds in there while I want them to be successful. Um, and I'll put in some elbow grease for them to be successful. I'm not necessarily going to um, spend a lot of money on the um, chance that I might lose like a $5 seed packet. So, We've got it all turned over once. I'm going to go get my compost and I'm going to lay compost over all of this. Um, just some organic compost that I bought from a big box home improvement store. And then I'm going to use my rake to just rake it all in and kind of get it evened out. Okay, I'm going to get my rake. I'm getting very tired. 
Gonna get my rake. Unsuck from the walkway. I'm gonna spread it out. That's about as good as we're gonna get it spread out today. Again, it's not perfect, um, but this is what we have to work with on a relatively low budget for this project. So, um, I know it seems like you're looking at a lot of not progress here. Um, thanks for sticking it out. I promise cool things are coming, um, but it, it starts here, and I think a lot of people are probably in the same place where you know, you've got this area and you just don't really know what to start tackling. So. Um, we're going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it's a little cooler where you are than I am right now. Like, subscribe, bell, and I'll see you in the next video.